In this video, we are going to take the fascinating DJI NEO and measure the actual flight time. We're also going to measure the charging time, how long does it take to charge that little battery. And the startup time, one of its big advantages is it doesn't need a remote and how long it takes to get it started to start flying. All right, so here's our first test. 100% charged. We are doing this indoors with a timer and what we're gonna do is we are gonna self fly it no remotes and the best way to do this is to hover in spotlight mode so spotlight mode means it's just gonna follow the subject which is myself I'll be working here in this room so it's gonna be tracking me the whole time it's gonna be twisting and turning making all kinds of noises which is a kind of funny because it just even though it's hovering, uh, the motors are screaming and, and uh, going on neutral all the time. Uh, but uh, we'll see how, uh, how long this thing will fly. Test is going really well. Drone is up and hovering and it's worth noting that their claim is 18 minutes of flight time. And historically it's always been uh, much lower uh, the actual flight time that people observe one advantage of this situation is this is in you know fly the drone by itself mode so uh, DJI knows that the drone is close to you it's not a mile away or, uh, or or very high so it is more willing to drain the battery to zero so the we are expecting good things from here a lot of variables okay there we go it goes down by itself and the actual time is 14 minutes plus and it's actually uh, drained all the way to zero so 14 minutes out of 18 minutes pretty good okay the next test is to charge it from zero to 100 percent and we are using USB-C and we have a little watt meter there so it is gonna tell us numerically how many watts it's charging at. And the number we see, so it kind of goes over 10 initially, but then it settles down at nine. Nine watts is where this thing is charging. And that is interesting because that actually says that you don't need USB-C. You could do normal USB and it's gonna charge at the same speed because this is not using the high power of USB-C so it indicates whether it's a quarter of the way full halfway full three quarters of the way full so uh, we're seeing the progress by the lights right there and uh, what this does is it slows down quite a bit when it gets close to 100 uh, it, it gets it to a trickle to top it off so very interesting little battery. I believe the battery is 1600 milliamp hour. So it's quite small, uh, but decent runtime, uh, but it does charge slowly. Uh, you know, they're claiming one hour charging, but uh, we are observing uh, quite a bit longer uh, on, on this test. So uh, really you need another battery uh, because these are not even though it's a small battery, it's a very slow charging battery, at least an hour. All right, here is the next test, charging. How long does it take to charge? And we're not doing so good because they claim one hour in all the documentation, but we're already way past one hour and it is not even close. So uh, I used our cable and this, uh, this is USB-C, so it's got a lot of power on this power station. And we can see it's only charging at about nine watts. They're claiming 12 watts. So what's happening, I think, is maybe it's hot. Yeah, the battery's hot, so it can't charge at full capacity. We'll do more testing in the future, but you know, it's hour 38 uh, instead of one hour. And finally, the startup. Four seconds is how long it starts from the time you press the button, which is incredible. And now we'll have an RCN2 that is already on and we'll see how long it pairs with that camera so watch that this the screen on the RCN2 uh, when it has an image that means you can get get to flying 
So 9.67 seconds is, is simply amazing uh, in our view. Now we're gonna compare it to a Mini 4 Pro with an RCN2 that's already on. See if it's any longer. So it makes a sound right away, but until you get an image, right there's the image, nine seconds as well. And finally, we're gonna turn on the drone and the RCN2 at the same time. In a Mini 4 Pro, you're required to use a display. So this is your real time uh, to before you can start filming with a Mini 4 Pro compared to four seconds on the Neo. Drone starts pretty quickly, and this used to be a minute, almost a minute, but now with firmware updates, it's much faster, and it is 34 seconds. Not bad at all, but way fat, way longer than the the Neo, and I think that's the core strength of the Neo. It is so fast, so easy, so convenient, safe. It, it doesn't damage itself. Uh, we'll do a lot more with this drone, but. For, for a follow me drone with no obstacle avoidance, it's just mind blowing.